Oh, uh, yes, sir. Eric Lima here, bringing to you my YouTube show in which my sentimental thoughts come from my heart. Also, where my mental oddball shenanigans are in my brain, come from in my brain, I should say. It's EML77 TV, episode 513. What's going on, everybody? Now, this is the second day of the SDIC. Don't laugh. It means SDIQ. Social distancing, isolation, quarantine. <coughs> mm, a little dusty here. But, however... However, instead of talking about what's been going on, while I'm doing and all that, we're gonna we're, we're gonna segue from all that. We're gonna we're gonna like take an exit, you know, take an exit, folks. We're gonna have some fun here. Now, have you um gone crazy yet? Have have your relatives and your siblings drove you totally batty and insane, and they look at you weird and all that, and you want to get out of the house, or you want to get away from everybody? Don't hesitate to. To go down in your secluded area, get a TV, get a DVD player remote, and binge watch some DVDs just to relax your mind, keep your mind off what's going on in the rest of the world. We know what's going on. We know what's happening. We know what's going on in our lives. We all know what's what, what's happening. So I decided to recommend some DVDs that I have busted out here to for you guys to watch. If you have any of these DVDs, great. If you don't, I recommend picking them up, whether it be Amazon or eBay, wherever, you know. After all this is done, just in case another thing like this comes up again, this is the way we should survive. So we're going to go in chronological order, okay, from decades, uh, as far as decades and years are concerned. Um, we're going in between the 30s and 50s for this one. Comedy is, is you know, an all-time favorite pitch. Um, the most famous comedy duo back then was Abbott and Costello with their best routine, Who's On First. Loved that routine. And these guys came along. The Three Stooges. Uh, me and my father first saw, when my dad was still single at the time, back in the 80s, the first time I was introduced to The Three Stooges, we sat down and watched The Three Stooges Marathon, and they had uh, took a couple of shorts where it required to wear 3D sunglasses. And we thought 3D was a huge thing back then and everything else. So, and, and ever since then, like every Saturday morning and every Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, or Sunday morning, we watched The Three Stooges. Um, I think mostly sun, uh, Sunday afternoon, every weekend afternoon after the cartoons are over and all that we end up watching i end up watching these guys and now you can watch them every single day the three stooges uh complete dvd collection i have more three Stooges movies starring curly joe joe besser and um shemp curly joe are in all in this one um it's a huge thing i, I got the three stooges cartoon as well the lost stooges and this is um and this is recommended. If you're a true Three Stooges fan, true blue Three Stooges fan, and you can do anything, yuck, 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 woo, 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 and all that with the curly shuffle and played by Jump of the Saddle Band in the 80s. This is the, you know, you know, my father and his friend, well, especially my father's friends from my church, usually um, do invitations and quote the Three Stooges, and um, they love the Three Stooges. So the Three Stooges, this is a, a whole entire DVD set of the Three Stooges. Every short there is, and... If you know it, any true Blue Stooge fan should own one of these. If you need a laugh, in, in times like this, especially in times like this, this is the DVD for you. So, the three Stooges. Um, eight volumes worth. And, uh, uh, the first one from 1934 to 1959. So, 30s, 40s, and 50s. This is, uh, three Stooges. Recommend that for you. Alrighty then, uh, let's, let's head to the 60s, and the 60s were kind of huge back then. Very campy, um, you know, the 60s with the hippie movement and all that, you know, f you know, peace and, you know, the peace signs and the flower child and all that. And there was, you know, we had, we had some groovy bands back in the day, and one band in particular, they had four talented young men who could play instruments and can sing, you know, and also could be heck of an actors, and this was, uh, this was supposed to be a parody band, but they, these guys can actually play instruments and sing, and so... I think it's pretty cool. The Monkees on DVD. Monkees Seasons 1 and 2. I have them both. My parents gave me and them. And I was really excited when... I used to watch them in the 80s, too, when they had reruns in the 80s. So I became a big Monkees fan back then. So the Monkees... Um, the Monkees, if you... Let's say, you know, there, there are episodes on the Internet, uh, on YouTube and whatnot. But if the Internet is down, you got this backup. So the Monkees on DVD. That's... If you're if you're a monkey fan, you like some of the songs. One of my favorite songs is "I'm a Believer," so um, this is um, my favorite um, my favorite 
band in the 60s, the Monkees. Um, watch them and, uh, you know, Last Train to Clarksville. Uh, I'm not your stepping stone. You're J.G. Jean Believer. Um, I'm a believer. You know, you're the Monkees theme song. And uh, so um, this is something that... Um, It's it's something that um you can uh, you can watch if you're a true blue, like I said, true blue monkeys fan. There you go. This is where it lies right here. So the monkeys on DVD. That's that's one sixty show I recommend watching on DVD. I started watching some of this yesterday. Um, you know, crime fighting is also huge. You know, back the comic book characters were huge, like especially um, DC characters. Were, you know, the DC comics were huge. Superman and this. Um, Individual Batman, starring the late great Adam West, three seasons worth. Um, Robin was there. Um, Batgirl was introduced into part three, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, if you're a true blue Batman fan, this is something you can pick up from the '60s in uh, from the um, mid '60s. Batman. Um, a little tidbit: Burgess Meredith as Penguin uh, guest uh, did a cameo in an episode of The Monkees. And so, Batman, um, so Burgess Meredith is in this one, um, Julie Newmar, you know, the late, great Adam Ward, Adam Ward, uh, Adam West, Burt Ward, still alive, um, Alan Napier, who played Buff, Butler Alfred, here's a huge tip, well, here's a huge tidbit, Alan Napier had a great, great grandson who played a Power Ranger, um, James Napier, who played, um, Connor, uh, the Dino Thunder Red Ranger, well, is the great grandson of Alan Napier who played so? I think the Batman reference that, that Connor made in the first episode of Dino Thunder. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't even know that. I was like, wow, mind blown. You never know. So, uh, Batman. If you love Batman, you love campiness, campy crime fighting. It's for you. The lovely Yvonne, Yvonne Craig came in, I believe, in the third season as Batgirl, the dynamic duo, the terrific trio. A lot of awesome, awesome. Uh, a lot of awesome things you can learn from him. Batman's like one of the smartest crime fighters ever. I think his ultimate superpower is his brain. And I think Robin is also like a willing student, so to speak. So like a teacher-student type of thing in this one, I thought it was pretty cool. So, you know, so I think yeah, Batman, the complete television series. So you got the monkeys, the three students, the monkeys and Batman, a little bit of comedy and everything else. Let's fast forward to the 1970s. The 1970s was, uh, you know, sitcoms were starting to be um, a lot bigger. Break now, now groundbreaking sitcoms like Chico and the Man and um, Good Times. There was another um, groundbreaking sitcom, and I figured you know we have a lot of fun with this one. And uh, we'll figure, uh, you know, where uh, funny insults and everything else came to be a little comedy. Indeed, a lot of real life situations uh, happened here. Uh, welcome back, Carter. Um, I recommend this. this is one of my favorite kind of shows in the 70s. A lot of comedy, as you know. Obviously, this man right here, Bob Arino, a.k.a. John Travolta, huge star from that. Um, two of the Sweat Hogs no longer with us, Robert Hagees, who played Epstein, and Ron Palillo, who played Horseshack. Oh, 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 oh. Um, Gabe Kaplan, who was a comedian, comedian, he wrote this, he helped write this, and, be, you know, it was like based on a real-life story almost. So, Welcome Back, Carter is one of my favorite shows to watch. Um... As you know, uh, the fourth season, a lot of things have changed. A lot of focus is more on the Sweat Hogs and the principal, uh, Woodman. Um, Stephen Shortridge replaced Bob, um, replaced Ron Travolta as Bol, Bol de la Bar. So, and it's uh, it's really really cool to see that. So it's uh, and and I think uh, Horshack got married to a fellow student. Uh, in, in this sitcom as well. So I recommend watching this and uh, to never forget the legacy of not only these two gentlemen that passed on, but the legacy of the others that made the 70s so great. So this is uh, one one of the DVDs I recommend. All right, going to my favorite decade, the 80s. Um, there was a lot of stuff that went on in the 80s, man. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, technology was well, uh, way advanced and everything else. The huge moment was the um, the video game craze. The video game craze was huge back in the day, and um, 
And and there were a lot of uh, video games that came into cartoons. Now, Saturday Supercade on CBS in the mid-80s, um, the early 80s, I should say, 82, 83, uh, had Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Qbert, um, Pitfall, Space Ace, Kangaroo, uh, Kangaroo, I think I mentioned Kangaroo already. <clears throat> so, um, but also, in but ABC, not to be outdone, decided to have the Pac-Man series on DVD. The Pac-Man series, if you're a big fan of Pac-Man, I recommend you picking these up. It has, the second season has Christmas Comes to Pac-Land right here. Christmas Comes to Pac-Land. It, it's a huge, huge thing. And um, uh, a lot of primetime shows. This is um, the primetime special, Christmas Comes to Pac-Land. Um, and I'm really excited about this. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just really excited that this show came out on DVD. And I found both of them. So, if you're a Pac-Man fan, I recommend picking this up. And uh, and Cubert's out also on, on DVD. It's the only movie out on DVD, only show out on DVD from Saturday Super K. Very shocked. So, but then we advance into um, we advance into the uh, crime fighting ro- uh, crime fighting uh, technology with cars and robots. And let's go to live action for a minute. You know, cartoons, Saturday morning cartoons were even bigger than that back then. This um, this series starred a an actor who's also who, who was also a singer. Um, you know, had had albums cut out in Germany for goodness sake, and that's how I think Germany connected with our country. I think that's what this young actor wanted. But this young actor, who knew that this show would make him a huge, huge star. Knight Rider, starring David Hasselhoff. Ooh, I have the honor of him following me on Twitter. I am very honored. Thank you, David Hasselhoff. I figured you can, you can follow me on Twitter. I give you a shout out. Look, look, this is a can't, cool looking, cool looking dude. Let me tell you, um, he had a talking car named Kit. Who was voiced by William Daniels, who went on to popularity as Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World in the um, um, mid late nineties. Um, David Hasselhoff started as an original detective named. Michael Long, who, after an accident, um, was surgically repaired to look like the son of Wilton Knight, who uh, wanted to fight crime with a car and built Kit. So, and Kit's been uh, assisting Michael Knight ever since in crime fighting. So, and right up there with the A Team. So, if you are a fan of Knight Rider, I recommend picking this up. This is a great, great um, show. A great show, great show to watch. Knight Rider this is a show you ought to pick up and watch. So, so you like a talking car, you know, technology, advanced, uh, advanced cars, that go fast. It's like the original Fast and the Furious, but with a talking car. And with only one guy driving the whole thing. So, so there's that. Um, also, back in the day, also, transforming robots were a huge thing, and combiner robots were a huge thing in the 80s. Um, there were two shows. Um, this show... This show came out first, Hanna Barbera's Challenge of the GoBots. After I think it was started in '84. Afterwards, Transformers. Now, let's talk about GoBots first. Now, GoBots are like you know, GoBots and GoBotron was about to be destroyed and everything else. The Renegades want to try to take over GoBotron, but the Guardians escaped to Earth, and three of the Renegades follow them. Now, the, Go- the three of the Guardians, Leader One, Scoot, Turbo, and Scooter. While Psykill, Crasher, and Copter follow the GoBots to Earth, and they'll, and the Renegades want to take over Earth, and and basically the universe, and they're trying to do whatever it takes. The Guardians will try to stop them. A similar story for Transformers here. Now Transformers is, um, has been more popular than GoBots were. They had the cooler toys. They had Autobots versus Decepticons. They had Combiners, um, co- Constructicons combined into Devastator. The Autobots. Con- um, Counter with the aerial bots transformed to Superion. You got the Dinobots, you got the Technobots, you got the Combaticons and Monster Monster Bots and Monster Cons and what now you know these two shows were so popular and it was difficult. Go bots and Transformers. But you know what now? I got the best best of both worlds here. It's the show for you guys to watch. And GoBots and Transformers. If you're in the mood, if you if you like robots and you like Transformer Robots cartoons, this is it. It's a huge craze in the eighties. And I'll tell you what, I recommend. Uh, GoBots had 
the uh, vol- I got the original miniseries when they first started out. I got volumes one and two. This is where it is. And then you got you know remastered from the original film elements. It's huge. So this is um bot bonuses. Uh, Robo Force, Revenge of Nazgar. So and uh, TV spe- it's a TV special too. So they should have put. Uh, they should put the, uh, the the Battle of the Rock Lords in this thing, too. So this is uh, huge right here. So this is, uh, you know, Transformers, lasted four seasons. If you Transformers fan, I got the, mo- I got the movie and the Japanese version, too, of Transformers that was had shows that were not, seasons that were not aired after this, after four seasons. So it's, um, if you love the 80s, this is, this is huge right here. So you get this, that's huge. So go buy some Transformers. And another um, one, an, an a Japanese anime. Um, like, I think it was Go King Beast Ro- Ro- Robo Lion, Go Lion King Beast. Of, I forget the name of it, the Japanese name of it. I know it has Lion and Beast and King in it. But uh, in other words, we had Voltron, Defender of the Universe. I did show it off. I had the, um, and then you have the vehicle version of Voltron as well. There it is. You know, it's. I think it's called Die Ruger SXV. Um, this one, and I got the um, the Lion version as well, and the Lion version was a lot more popular. And uh, I know nowadays they've been remastered, but you can't beat the originals. You cannot beat the originals. This is a um, huge. Um, on Voltron, Defender of the Universe, you got the Lion Force and the Vehicle Force Voltrons. If you love Japanese anime, it's filled with transforming robots and combiner robots. This is for you. All right. This is, this is recommended for you guys. Go on, on Amazon, pick it up, whatever, you know. After all, this is over, just in case something like this happens again. Um, another thing, too, uh, Filmation was huge in the 80s as well. You know, Filmation came out with a Fat Albert Christmas special, which I have on DVD. We have a lot, a lot of cool stuff on DVD. Um, you know, Ghostbusters. This was the cartoon version of the first live-action version of Ghostbusters in 1975. This one is in the 80s. It uh, stars their sons this time around with Tracy DeGrill. They animated it. And it goes, and they, they're trying to de- basically defend the Earth against the evil, prime evil, and his, um, um, squ- uh, and his squad of, uh, you know, n- um, evildoers. And um, if you're a big fan of Ghostbusters, uh, then it had the real Ghostbusters from, you know, the Saturday night, um, from the Saturday Night Live characters of Dan Ack- uh, actors Dan Aykroyd uh, and Bill Murray, and then you got Harold Ramis and Ernie Hudson, Sigourney Weaver and Annie Potts. This is the um, original Ghostbusters. Oh, it's the sons of the original Ghostbusters from the live action show of 1975. They were cartoonized for filmation here, and that, they're trying to continue the, the. So it is Jake Kong Jr. and E. Spencer Jr. And and track and following the following footsteps in the original Gorilla the Psychic Tracy. This is the um, Ghostbusters, the Filmation's Ghostbusters, my favorite Ghostbusters right here. Cool show. You like to watch it. And that's free. You know, I used to watch this, you know. You just sit down well, I used to um, sit down almost every Saturday morning and uh, you know, pour a pour um uh, pour a cereal, uh, pour a bowl of cereal of rice crispy, slice some bananas in it, with some sugar and milk in it, and boom. Just down, sit down and watch that. That's the Filmation's uh, uh, Ghostbusters. Now, <clears throat> we go into the uh, fantasy action uh, cartoon version. Um, this started out as a, you know, as, a, as a toy line, but now it's morphed into a cartoon. He-Man, the Masters of the Universe, and for girls, She-Ra, a princess of power. Um, this was the hugest thing ever, and just, you know, He-Man... Um, he-Man and She-Ra, um, huge back then, um, as you know. Um, they had the, the, the Christmas special, the sword, the secret of the sword, how She-Ra came to be. 130, uh, 130 episodes here, 93 episodes here. It's huge. Unbelievable. And that's when I found out when they decided to re- reissue this on DVD. I was really excited because the original DVD set of He-Man cost a lot more. And, and, but this time around... They cut down the prices of each of these uh, when they reissued them. So I'm so glad they did, and I decided to pick them up, and boom, you know, I have them. So if you want to enjoy your 80s cartoons, this is the best way to go to relive your childhood right here. Um, you know, all you 80s fans out there, this is these are the two DVDs. It's a must, must pick up. So 
please uh, pick them up if you know. Keep yourself sane in this. All right, we're going to head to the 90s and 2000s now. As you know, the 90s, video games um, were making a comeback thanks to Nintendo. And I, uh, there's a couple of Nintendo games that I liked. Uh, Nintendo uh, cartoons that made by Nintendo that came out on DVD. The first one is Captain N, the Game Master. Uh, stars as a, a young man named Kevin who uh, was transported into Video Land to try to save it from the Mother Brain. And the and an eggplant wizard was not the original bad guy in Kid Icarus. Um, original main bad guy was Medusa. So um, Captain N, uh, it usually doubled up with this one. And th- these shows were on NBC Saturday morning lineup. These two cartoons were part of NBC Saturday morning li- lineup. The Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3, and Captain N, the Game Master. And this is uh, two cartoons that I loved watching when I was a kid back in the day. And, um... <coughs> Man, excuse me. Anyways, and this is, um... You know, 26 episodes only lasted one thing, Nintendo Powers. You know, Captain Power and animated character bios. And has everything. And so it's so, so cool. So this is the um, this is uh, these two cartoons on NBC. I recommend picking them up and watching them. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm really excited picking these up. It was the coolest thing ever, and I recommend you watching them. Recommend all y'all watch them. All right, and, and the video game craze, the the fighting game craze was huge. Um, they've already came out with uh, Street Fighter. Um, the animated series, Mortal Kombat was huge, but there was a there was a, a Capcom fighting game that was in the shadow of Street Fighter, and um, and and it and it shows, and it was well well less known show, but it only lasted thirteen episodes. Dark Stalkers, um, it it's not not the same as the animated version of that. Um, it has a more campier. Mm. More campy. It's sort of like um, the dog. Some of the dog stalkers um, joined forces. Some have not. Um, the good guys, you know, John Ta- um, Jonathan Talbain, uh, Catwoman Felicia, Riku, Victor von Gernheim, Bigfoot, um, aka Sasquatch, uh, were the rebels that were defending the Earth. While Dimitri Morrigan. Uh, Anakaris, who his brain went off to La La Land, and Lord Raptor, who is probably nuts as it is, and but then you got Bishaman, who um, who jumped to the good guy's side because he is an honorable samurai. But Donovan Dane and Zienko uh, decided that you know to hunt everybody down, so it makes things complicated. <clears throat> and. Uh, but they had they added a human uh, teenager Harry Grimore. Um, he found he was a descendant descendant of Merlin. And he trying to use his magical powers to help the Dark Stalkers out to defend the Earth. The Earth defending Dark Stalkers, and um, just you know, it only looks like 13 episodes. That's why it's not that popular. But if you're a Dark Stalkers fan or a Capcom fighting fan, pick this up. That's um, one of the um, that is one of the many movies. How many shows I have on DVD? Who likes a little bit of a comedy? All right, the last two DVDs were going into the 2000s. This one, a little bit of comedy. Um, if you like watching um, people, make, you know, people doing pratfalls and uh, pranks, I think nowadays people, you know, trying to, you know, hurt themselves in a goofy way, they, they think it's funny and all. Um, this is one of my favorite shows to watch. Uh, MXC. I have five volumes, and all five volumes are out. Uh, I got, you know, I got season one, season two, and I got volumes three, four, and five. So these, you know, you know on Spike TV, they used to air these, and, they, and this is funny. This show is probably the funniest show ever. Um, they, they, they derived from an 80s uh, show in Japan called Takashi's Castle. And it's, you know, the goal of Takashi's Castle is whoever can beat Takashi wins, I think, a million yen or something. That was huge back in the day um, in the end workers. But then um, in MXC, they took some of these clippings and they decided to um, have funny voiceovers with Kenny Blankenship and Vic Romano and had some of these strange funny names, puns, uh, jokes, some that were 
a little raunchy on the raunchy side if you like that kind of stuff. But um, they had they split up into two teams. Whoever had, wins the most teams, and you get the most painful eliminations of the day. You had a lot of you know crazy things like Captain Tennille, um You got Guy Ladouche and uh, Chief Auto Parts, and all the craziness um, and all the crazy events like Door Jam, um, Slippery Slope, a slanted a slanted death, dash to death, wall bangers, pole riders, um, bird droppings, busted nuts, arable bowl shrimp syndrome. Uh, sinkers and floaters, uh, wall bangers, buck off, uh, pie in the sky, boulder dash, character assassination, um, hand job, uh, bagel bumpers, sperm wheelers, tumbling dominoes of doom, rotating surfboard of death, uh, crossing the Peo Grande, little man on the boat, clear sp- sphere of fear, uh, great holes of glory, the giant G string of doom. Uh, log drop mud butlers, plank spankers, uh, you got door jam, dead end zone, um, uh, lots of crazy, uh, and they have lots of craziness on this one, so, and they have original episodes of Ta- uh, Takashi's Castle, so if you know what I'm talking about, um, you can watch the, you can watch episodes of them, you know, which is really, really cool, and, uh, it's so cool. So, at, you know, I recommend, if you're a big MXC fan or Takashi's Castle fan, watch this. It's going to be cool. Watch this. It's going to be really cool. All right. And the final um, DVD I'm going to re- be recommending to you guys, I think it's really, really cool, is um, if you watch MTV's Jackass, that was like a, a huge thing. You know, people tell you not to try anything at home and all that good stuff. So, I figured we'd have a little bit of fun with this one. Viva La Bam! It's one of the um, shows, a uh, spun-off jackass. Uh, Bam Margera is trying to uh, drive his family crazy, and him and his pals were doing a heck of a job that, along with April Margera and Phil Phil Margera and the late great Don Vito, who is in real name is Vince Margera. Um, how do you know you drive people crazy by doing all everything, everything possible? And it's gotten to the point where their city is, you know, where their own, um, Westchester, the city of Westchester, the township, they've been driven to the point where they're sick and tired of all the crap. And it's, it's crazy. So this is a, this is a crazy show, but it's funny. Watch it. Some episodes are hilarious. And they have also uncensored versions of, um, seasons two and three and season four. It, la- it lasted five seasons. So. It lasted five seasons, and five seasons of driving his own family. I don't recommend to do this to your own family, to be like do what Bam, uh, Bam Margera did. But, however, um, recommend, recommendation is this, man. This. This is a, if you need, like I say, if you need a laugh, you need to take your mind off things. That's why I recommend all these DVDs that I have gathered up here. Um, I recommend, you know, you're taking your mind off, you know, get get a snack, you know, after you're done, get a snack, sit down, get something to eat, chill out, sit down, do this, do this, and I think you'll be all right. Do this, I think you'll be okay. So, uh, just be patient, and um, we'll get through this, and all these DVDs I have, and you don't have them, go pick from, um, if you can, if you can try to, um, you know, if you can't, order them online, wait till they come in. Why not, you know, I've already had these, already bought all these DVDs beforehand, so, kind of a smart move on my part, so that's what I want to do, so some DVD recommendations on on my second full day of SDIQ, 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 Social Distancing Isolation Quarantine, and if, and if you come back to work and, and or come back to, no, to your normal routines and everything else, and people, and you start quoting uh, goofy lines, or something like that, and people look at you funny, just say it's my fault. <laughs> that's all you get to say it's my fault. All right. So that's all the time we have on the show. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and uh, I gotta get going so I can watch NXT UK, and we're gonna have some fun. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, and uh, see you around.